I'm making a point about productizing. How important it is to have a specific intentional experience, a milestone experience for your prospective client. Hey, it's Alze Calhoun with Coveted Consultant. I'm making this video completely impromptu. I'm actually traveling with some friends of mine. We're in Las Vegas in a really nice hotel. Uh, we've had a really good experience here. We've enjoyed it very much. And so my wife and I were talking about how much we've, we were enjoying our entire experience. And then I saw this note that was on the desk. I didn't see this note until we were getting ready to check out. And so this, this is what it looks like. It says the envelope, please. It was folded and it was sitting on the desk just like this. So let me read what this says so you can appreciate how powerful this is. It says, the room attendant makes every effort to ensure your comfort while you are away from home. Please feel free to use this envelope to express your gratitude person to person. What makes this so powerful? There are a couple of things here. Number one, the assumption is that you've had an experience that you'd want to show gratitude for. There's an assumption here that you're going to enjoy what this experience is. That means number two. That means that we have to design an experience that we expect you to have gratitude for. We have to intentionally design an experience that we know will make you feel good, that we know will make you feel so good that you'll want to express your gratitude. So what we do is we already give you a, a, met a method to express that gratitude. Third, this is shaped like an envelope, right? Okay, so that means you can open this up and just write a note if you want to express your gratitude. But it's also in a form of an envelope so you can put a tip in here if you want to express your gratitude or do both. What's the power of that? So now I get to choose as the customer which way I'd like to express gratitude. I can choose to, choose to, do, it, to do it financially. I can choose to do it in written form. I can choose to do both. But you're not forcing me to tip anybody. You're not forcing me to write a note. I, if, if I enjoy my experience, I get to, I get to make, make, a, make a decision on how I'd like to express that experience. But let's keep going. Here's more of what makes this powerful. Now you have an asset inside your business. So now when the person, clean, the person who, is, who, is, who is designed to, to clean this room is going to check this envelope intentionally, right? So if that person wants to have something in this envelope when they, when they check it, then they should serve this room accordingly. It's got to be clean right. It's got to be clean well. They got to put a special touch on it, right? Because they want the people in this room to feel a level of gratitude. So now, now this, this incentivizes the employees to do a good job in what they're supposed to do. Let's keep going. So now certain employees are going to have more of these. Other employees are going to have fewer of these. So now there's a bit of competition in internally inside your company to see who can have more of these, who can have higher quality of these. This simple mechanic, this simple element provides numerous levels of leverage inside your business. It helps me as a, as a customer express my gratitude. It encourages your employees to follow the best practices. It works for all parties. This is an example of productizing. It's an example of thinking clearly about how you want your customer's experience to unfold in advance and then designing a service that is aligned with those expectations. You don't come up with these kind of things just with a magic idea one day. You've got to think about your client more and more often. You've got to design and redesign your services. And if you'd like some help designing those services better, I'll put a video right here that'll walk you through what productizing feels like and even, even more examples. I'll talk to you soon.